I'm John Pankhurst, it's The Morning Marketing Man, and this morning's video is tracking return on investment on your online marketing spend. I'm gonna show you three ways you can track your ROI and give you the returns that you need. I don't know if you've heard this joke before, but people say 50% of my marketing is working. I just don't know which 50%. But the beauty of online marketing is it's 100% trackable. There's nowhere to hide. When a campaign goes live, you can track the results of it instantly. And that is why I love online marketing so much. One of the things you should be looking at if you're a business owner is waste. I often wonder when I drive past huge office blocks why they have their lights switched on at midnight when there's literally no one in the office working. It still begs belief why they aren't monitoring that. And I'm sure those kind of businesses also aren't monitoring their waste on online advertising effectively. And if you are running a business like that, or you have a marketing director in that business, this video could be really useful for you. I'm John Pankhurst, The Morning Marketing Man. If you find a value in this content useful, please like or share on Facebook. If you're watching on YouTube, please click the subscribe button, because every new subscriber I get really encourages me to add more value back to the community. And if you're watching on LinkedIn, please click the like button, because that will then share it with your community. Okay, let's get stuck straight in. So for complete transparency, I wanna let you know that I do use some of the products I'm about to show you, and I'm not completely recommending any of them or all of them, but I've found them incredibly useful for my business on increasing the return on investment for my online marketing. So we're gonna look at three different ways you can track your ROI. Number one is Google Analytics. And I like that because it's completely free, it's easy to install, and you can start tracking who is looking at content and where they're going on your website. Number two are CRMs. CRMs, I happen to use Zoho. I did used to use Insightly and a very powerful tool. You can track where people visited, came in from your site, and then you can look back at your content. And number three is call tracking. Let's talk about these in detail now. So first of all, we're gonna talk about Google Analytics. It is completely free to use, it's easy to install. You can ask your web developer or your agency to copy paste a bit of code and drop it into your website. And then what it'll start doing, it'll start analyzing the people that are visiting your site over time and letting you know what pieces of content on your website are fundamentally driving inquiries into your business from your website. It is a very useful tool, but it does have its limitations. One of the best areas to look at is behavior, and that's the behavior of the people that are visiting your website. You need to look at a few factors here. You need to look at, one, how much time they're spending on your website. Number two, what pages they're viewing and the amount of bounce rate, i.e. the amount of people that hit the site and then bounce back straight away. And with that information, you can then decide what new content you should be releasing, and actually looking at the UX, the user experience of your website, because people might be hitting bottlenecks within your content, and not, fundamentally, they're not calling you. So that's a great tool. Number two, CRM, Customer Relationship Management Tools. Sounds awfully geeky, doesn't it? But what it is, is a bit of software that will sit between you and your customers. So you can track who they are, where they came from, and all their details. Now with some of these CRMs, they give you the information you need with regards to tracking the value of an opportunity all the way back to a campaign. So if you had a campaign, for example, looking at articles, um, the five best commercial cleaning companies, say, in London, and that article started driving traffic into your website, you could track it all the way back from the opportunity value right back to the cost of writing the article. And then if it worked, you could just do more of that and have better return on investment on your business. Within Zoho, it's actually got something called IQ Insights. And what that does is looks at the behavior of people as well. Rather similar to Google Analytics, it looks at the amount of time people look at each individual page and then you can track it right back. And we have found there are five types of content that people look at. First of all, it's number one is the price. They look at problems, they look at verses or comparisons, they look at reviews. And then finally, they will be looking at best in class. So that's the sort of content you should be writing on a regular basis. Number three, we're gonna be looking at call tracking. Imagine right now the phone rings and it's someone asking me for help with online marketing. I pick the phone up, but before I get to speak to this new lead, the phone says to me, this is London Bridge campaign calling, online marketing. 
I would know immediately the location of the person that's calling me. I would know the campaign, the structure of the campaign, and I could immediately tag that against the campaign in my CRM. And that gives me way more control than Google Analytics, because although Google Analytics does have event tracking, which you can hook up to a call event, it can be flaky. And we've noticed sometimes people are getting calls and it's not actually logging in Google Analytics. But this is the best way you can track that. Now within some of these phone systems, you also have a panel that can show you who called you when, what your call rate was like. So if you've got a team of salespeople, they may not be answering the phone as quickly or as efficiently as you like, and that can actually tell you where you can make more efficiencies within your sales team. So it's an incredibly useful tool. I hope today's video has given you some value today which you can take back to your business. Please like or share on Facebook. And if you're watching on YouTube, please click the subscribe button because every new subscriber I get really encourages me to have more content like this. And if you're watching on LinkedIn, please click the like button because that will share it with your network. Have a great day. Thank you.